following in the footsteps of KUAM Radio, which launched two years earlier, in August 1956, California businessman Harry Engel launched a new business venture, KUAM TV, Guam's first commercial television station. From its very inception, KUAM combined a first class national news and entertainment from the NBC network with a host of original local programs. One of the many people to emerge as the face of KUAM was Madeline Bordalio. She started as a receptionist, worked on radio, and eventually had her own show on KUAM television. Well, I had a program called The Interesting Women of the Community. And I started with the governor's wife and the admiral's wife, the general's wife, and, and all of that. And that was very interesting. I also did a show where I featured different communities on Guam. Former radio personality John Anderson also had a stint here at KUAM, managing and overseeing the station during an exciting, pivotal time in Guam's broadcast history. Then we also had the early satellite capability. And uh, while it was very expensive for special kinds of things, we could do satellite live broadcasting. And in January of 1978, we did the first ever on Guam live broadcast uh, telecast of a sporting event, and that was the Super Bowl. One of the shows that scored big with viewers was Guam's version of the Today Show, called Buenas. You may recognize the host, none other than Nestor Lecanto, and the lovely Ginger Cruz, both former news directors of KUAM. Buenas and good morning, everyone, on this Wednesday, February 23rd, 1994. I'm Esther Lacanto. And I'm Ginger Pierce. Thanks a lot for joining us this morning. The Buenas show with Ginger and Nestor was one that many island residents remember. It had news with Carmen Ujoa. Security has been beefed up around the home of senator and gubernatorial candidate Carl Gutierrez. Sports with Patrick Lujan. Last night in the Guam Major League, the Exxon Tigers were still seeking their first win of the season against the Armed Forces Pirates and health news with Karen Flores. Good morning, I'm Karen Flores and we're here with the health segment of Buenas and we've got Dr. J.K. Richter with us. After Buenas, more local programs would air on KUAM TV like Island Stars with Genevieve Halili and Hollywood Harrison and Jams TV. KUAM TV would also host live events like the grand opening of Planet Hollywood, the opening of the Hard Rock Cafe. Greetings everyone, I'm Hollywood here, so along with Sabrina Salas, we're backstage at the Hard Rock Cafe grand opening celebration. And when tragedy struck, like in August of 1997, when a Korean airplane crashed, we were there to bring you the coverage. From heartbreak to recording history, when President Bill Clinton visited Guam on November 23, 1998, KUAM was there to bring you his historic visit from touchdown to takeoff. KUAM also brought Guam the first investigative news magazine show, Island Focus with Grace Lee. As years would go by, KUAM would continue to evolve, churning out more local programs and coverage of live events, like the ever-popular Malafunction Show. Hey, you thought you two are for sleeping? Is your wife again me? The Tata Mona Tales. Guam's Biggest Loser. The Guamazing Race. The Miss World Guam pageant and preliminary television show. Survivor Stories, which, we should note, KUAM won multiple Edward R. Murrow Awards from the Radio Television News Directors Association. The Buzz with Jess Lujan. home and lifestyle. In the mix. And whenever disaster struck over the years, KUAM has always been there, using our resources to corral support.
And when we aren't helping our community, we are recognizing those of you who go above and beyond to help others through our annual KUAM Care Force Honors Awards Program. KUAM remains the only television station to offer local news seven days a week. And from seven days a week, KUAM has branched out offering local programming on Docomo Pacific Local Channel 2. And 24 hours of local programming on GTA Channel 17, Guam's News Network. And if that wasn't enough, our television programs are not only reaching homes on Guam, but households across the globe. Guamanians around the world are able to stay local with a simple click or swipe.